Following the Indiana Fever's narrow 85-83 defeat to the Seattle Storm on Wednesday, their fifth consecutive loss of the season, Caitlin Clark, the number one overall pick, remained optimistic. Despite the setbacks, she emphasized the team's progress and her determination to stay positive. You're never happy to lose, Clark admitted. It's not fun, but there's a lot to build on. I'm trying to stay positive, keep learning, and stack good days. That first win is just around the corner. The Fever's initial three games resulted in double-digit losses, but their last two matches have been closely contested. In the final minute against Seattle, Clark had a turnover only her second of the game, a significant improvement from her previous average of 6.5 per game and had a crucial three-pointer blocked, which she believed should have been a foul. Indiana had a chance to win after successfully challenging a pass ruled as a jump ball. With 11 seconds left, Christy Wallace's inbound pass to Clark was slightly off, leading to a scramble where Aaliyah Boston got tied up. The ensuing jump ball went out of bounds, and Boston's half-court attempt at the buzzer missed, sealing the Storm's victory reflecting on the intense final moments, Clark said, probably the longest minute of a basketball game I've been part of in a long time. We had a chance, but we also made some mistakes. Clark delivered her best performance in the WNBA so far, scoring 21 points, grabbing 7 rebounds, and dishing out 7 assists. She struggled in the first half, scoring only 5 points on 2 of 9 shooting, but found her rhythm after halftime. In a pivotal 117 stretch late in the third quarter, she scored 6 points and added an assist, helping Indiana take the lead. Smiling postgame, Clark acknowledged her aggressive playstyle during that run. It's about finding the balance with my teammates. When I'm assertive, creating my shots, I perform better. The sellout crowd of 18,343, the largest in Seattle's franchise history, was thrilled by Clark's performance in Jewel Lloyd's 32-point game. Clark appreciated the vibrant atmosphere, despite the loss. This environment was incredible, she said. It was a great game, and I would have loved to win. Despite the close losses, Clark sees signs of progress. These hurt the most. We're so close to being 2-3 instead of 0-5. We need to find confidence in that and fix the small mistakes. Staying positive and learning from each game, Clark remains hopeful for the Fever's future success.